Hey guys, Erwan Yusuf here again. As you know, I've been doing these five minute update videos, really quick videos where I can just try to kind of get a message out in about five minutes. Ever since I opened the studio, people have been super kind and sending me lots of items to try and everything. So I thought, why not start a really simple and quick unboxing series? So today on this five minute update unboxing video, we will be testing an ice cream maker. So DeLonghi sent me an ice cream maker. I previously had one where you had to take the bowl out and freeze it overnight before making an ice cream. It would work, but it was just such a long process and it would just take basically like the fun out of making ice cream. You know, if you're thinking, oh, I really want ice cream now, you don't want ice cream tomorrow, you want it now. So you want an ice cream maker that after making that mix on the stove, you can put in the machine itself and get it done in about 25 to 45 minutes, which I think the DeLonghi Il Gelatio, is it Il Gelatio or number two Gelatio? I'm not too sure. I think this does the trick. So let's open it up and try a quick recipe with it. Once open, fairly simple. Everything seems to be assembled already. There's a little bowl, there's a little paddles here. Okay, so it's actually pretty heavy. It's about, I would say, maybe eight, 10 kilos, um, but it's fairly compact. So let's figure out how to use this really quickly and get going and do a recipe. So we seem to be good to go. Um, of course, you wanna wipe everything down and clean everything. And then we're gonna go ahead and make very quick ice cream. Um, I'm not gonna tell you I know how to make ice cream. I'm just using their ice cream book. Um, so they have a, a recipe for a dairy ice cream that calls for milk, cream, sugar, and vanilla. All three things, all four, so all three things I have, except for the cream, uh, which is the fourth element. So I'm gonna be using some coconut cream and hopefully that works as well. Um, so fairly simple, combine everything, place it in here, close it up, run it for 30 minutes, and hopefully it'll be done by then. Ooh, 140 grams is actually a lot of sugar. Back to zero to that, I'm gonna have to add about 90 grams of cream. And then to this mix, we're gonna be adding 370 grams or 370 milliliters rather of whole milk. I hope ice cream making isn't as specific as baking or else we're in trouble because I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Finally, a little bit of vanilla, whisk everything together. So what makes this different from other ice cream makers, I guess it's because it has its own compressor. Um, so what happens here is just like any professional big ice cream makers you might see in your favorite like gelato shops or stuff, um, the ice cream is made at a continuous kind of low temperature and it just gives you a much creamier kind of flavor rather than those that kind of shock freeze it. Um, it's also really convenient. Um, I think the maximum capacity of this is about 1.2 liters or equivalent to 600 grams um, of volume inside. Um, and you can basically make anything. Um, if you cook with some eggs or something and you need to cook it on the, on the stove top, always make sure obviously um, that the liquid is cooled completely before you put in anything inside. If you're using things like chocolate or strawberries or thing that you, things that you wanna add to the ice cream eventually, I'm not sure you would put that in the initial batch. You'd probably incorporate them as the ice cream's already kind of frozen. And I think if you were to do anything with alcohol, you'd probably have to add maybe 20 or 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and pour our mixture in here, close it up and wait 30 minutes.
day two. All right, so it's the next day, um, and this is really for me the moment of truth. It's very easy for an ice cream to come out perfect from an ice cream machine, um, simply because it comes out really fluffy and luscious, and it did yesterday. I took a little taste, and it was absolutely delicious. Here, I put it in the freezer to check, one, if it would withstand um, the cold in the freezer, and it would still come up nice and kind of lushy and very ice creamy. So, let's taste it. And remember, this is with some coconut cream, so it wouldn't be as creamy as something you'd put just regular kind of cow cream in there. That's absolutely delicious. So definitely a success in my book. The machine is awesome. It's really quick, it's really fast. I can only kind of already imagine all the types of recipes that you can do on it, um, and that gets me really excited. So I'll definitely do more ice cream videos. Um, so, but yeah, if, if you can, I definitely recommend the machine. I think it'd be a great addition to anyone who likes to geek out in the kitchen and just make their own food from scratch. Um, it's great to be able to control absolutely everything that goes into your food. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Thanks for joining me again for another five minute update. Um, if you are watching and you wanna send me stuff to review or kinda of look at or you think you have something really cool that I might like and might eventually make a video for, um, my email address is in the description box below, so just make sure you send me an email and then I'll give you the address of where you can send things. For everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This week's content is really awesome. Um, I'm gonna show you a little preview after this. Uh, so watch out for a couple of new videos coming out. Um, and aside from that, if you like the content, please make sure to share it with your friends. And if you really, really, really like it, make sure to press that subscribe button, but at the same time, put the notifications on. I'm getting a lot of complaints from some of the followers just saying that um, they're not getting notifications when new videos come out. So one way you can do that is make sure you kind of have those forced notifications on for your favorite creators. Hopefully I'm one of them. Uh, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.